Hello guys, welcome to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Here in this video, I will show you how to calculate the total loads and the footing of the building. Okay, if you are a civil engineer and if you are willing to design a footing, then you must know uh, how to calculate the total loads and the footing uh, of the building so that you can design a safe, durable and economical footing. Okay, so let's start our video. Okay, so to calculate the total loads on the footing of the building, we need to calculate the total load of each member of the building like column, beam, slab and wall etc. Okay, guys, here you can see in this picture in 3D model. Okay, so total weight on this footing will be applied by this slab, this two slab, this four column okay this column four column this wall okay bricks wall and uh, this beam you can see in gray color this beam total load applied uh, if we add all the loads of this all component then we will get total load applied on this footing okay guys so here we will calculate total load of each member one by one in four step okay in step one we will calculate the total load by the column okay in step two we will calculate the total load by the beam in step three we will calculate the total load by slab in step four we will calculate the total load by the wall okay so uh, it is not necessary that uh, you have to calculate all the load serially you can uh, calculate at first wall or beam or slab or column any of you uh, you can calculate okay so let's start our calculation okay uh, i will uh, first of all calculate the total weight by the wall okay guys so here the dimension of bricks uh, is taken as follows okay so the thickness of wall is how much this thickness is how much nine inch okay and uh, height of the brick wall is how much three meter okay this height is three meter and length of the wall is one meter length means i am taking the length only 1 meter okay so that, so that after calculating the length weight of 1 meter of the uh, wall uh, just we have to multiply it with the total length of the wall okay so i am first of all calculating by taking length of wall as 1 meter only okay so the density of bricks will be 2000 kg per cubic meter you should remember this uh, the density of uh, brick work will be how much 2000 kg per cubic meter okay so load will be what volume into density okay guys so this is the formula to calculate the load the volume into density first of all we have to calculate the volume of this wall and after that we have to multiply it with the help of density okay so volume will be what length into width into height so i have written here sim uh, this is uh, thickness here thickness and this is the length and this is the height okay so uh, here this is 9 inch and uh, i have converted this 9 inch into meter okay 0 0.229 meter okay so conversion unit is uh, you can see in the picture here this is the conversion unit and if we use this conversion unit then we will get what 9 inch equals to 0 0.229 meter okay so guys uh, here we have calculated load uh, is equals to how much 1374 kg per meter okay guys this is not uh, the total weight of this whole wall okay it, it is uh, the weight per meter of the wall okay so let's uh, move forward here the total load due to all three walls guys we have calculated only the weight of one meter of length of the wall okay but here we have three wall one wall two wall and three wall okay so we have to add all the weight of the wall w1 w2 and w3 okay so load per meter into total length okay we have calculated load per meter of the uh, per meter length of the wall okay so total length of the wall is how much its length is three meter after that five this wall length is how much five meter and after that again three again this wall is three okay three meter so we have only three wall so we will calculate the total length of three wall only okay so after uh, calculating total length of the wall we have to multiply it with load per meter that we have calculated in previous page okay so uh, let us see uh, total load per meter is uh, 1374 we have calculated just and total length of the wall is what three plus five plus three and we will get how much 1514 15, uh, kg of the wall due to this three wall okay guys now let us move forward 
here we will calculate the load due to column okay so length of column is given how much 600 mm this length is how much 600 mm which is 0 0.6 meter okay because 1000 mm is equals to what 1 meter okay you have to remember if you don't know okay so uh, using this conversion factor we, uh, we have 600 mm equals to 0 0.6 meter as a length of column okay width of column is 230 mm or 0.23 meter this width is how much 0 0.23 meter okay and uh, it contains how much 1% of the steeler lead okay so uh, it may be 2% or 3% uh, percent, but I am letting here 1% of the steeler and height of the column is how much this height is 3 meter okay well, we have 3 meter so volume of concrete I am calculating the volume of concrete here at first so total volume will be length into width into height okay so putting all this value we will get how much 0 0.414 meter cube okay so volume of steel will be 1 percent of the concrete volume okay and concrete volume is how much 0 0.414 okay and 1 percent if we calculate 1 percent of this volume then we will get 1 by 100 into total volume is equals to 0 0.0041 meter cube okay so guys this is the volume of steel used in this uh, column and this is the volume of whole column okay now the density of concrete is how much 2400 kg per cubic meter okay so guys uh, you have to remember this the density of concrete is how much uh, 2400 kg per cubic meter this is also called the density of uh, PCG okay and density of steel is how much 7800 kg per cubic meter okay so we have volume of concrete and density of concrete volume of steel and density of steel now uh, we have to just uh, use the formula W equal to volume into density okay so let's move forward here okay the total load by one column will be density into volume okay so uh, here load by concrete plus load by steel in it okay guys so how will we calculate the total load by this column load by this concrete used in this column and load by steel rod used in this concrete okay there are two types of load due to steel and due to concrete okay so uh, for concrete volume into density for concrete and volume into density for steel okay and we have calculated volume density volume density for concrete and steel rod both okay so putting all the value volume into density volume into density for concrete and steel rod separately we will get how much 1500.58 kg of the uh, uh, weight of this column okay but we have eight column guys here okay you can see in this picture we have eight column one column two column three column four column five six seven eight okay guys so if we have eight column so we have to multiply this value into eight okay hence the total load due to all column will be load due to one column into eight equals to putting all the values uh, load due to one column uh, here 1025.58 into eight we will get 8204.64 kg of column okay guys we have calculated load due to weight due to this uh, wall and due to this column now remaining part will be what slab and beam okay so let's move forward okay now i am calculating for the beam okay so width of beam is given 230 mm this width is 230 mm depth of beam is how much 450 mm okay and length of beam is 1 meter okay so length of beam is how much 1 meter this is for one one beam only guys okay you can see here this is a beam this one is uh, beam this one is beam in a similar way we can see beam for this uh, uh, wall uh, above this wall and also above this wall so we have one two three four uh, five six seven eight beam okay so let's move for, uh, for our calculation okay so width is given depth is given length is given okay so volume of concrete again calculating volume of this beam will be how much 0 0.230 into 0 0.450 into uh, 1 okay guys so guys here length is 1 meter it means not the length of total uh, beam is 1 meter only i am taking only for the 1 meter length okay i am calculating the weight of beam having 1 meter length only after that calculating the weight uh, calculate the load of beam per meter 
after that we will calculate the total load just by multiplying the total length of the beam okay so volume of concrete in the beam will be how much 0.1038 meter cube okay so volume of steel in the beam let uh, the steel used in the beam will be 2 percent okay of the concrete beam okay so just uh, as a column we have calculated 1 percent of the concrete column here we will calculate 2 percent of the concrete beam okay so 2 percent of concrete beam will be how much 0.00207 meter cube okay guys so here we have calculated volume of concrete of this beam and volume of steel rod used in this beam okay now let us see the density of concrete again we are taking 2400 kg per cubic meter and density of steel again 7800 kg per cubic meter we have to remember this okay so load by beam per meter okay guys we are calculating only per meter length per meter weight of the beam okay so weight uh, load by beam per meter will be density into volume same formula and again in beam we are taking load due to concrete and load due to steel in it okay so volume into density volume into density and we have calculated already all this volume and density uh, are given okay so putting all this value we will get how much 265.266 kg per meter okay so weight of this beam per meter will be how much 265.266 kg per meter now guys we have uh, total eight beam okay one beam two beam three beam four beam and above four beam total will be eight beam okay so load per meter we will calculate load per meter into total length okay length of this all beam total length of this beam and after that we will multiply it with load per meter okay so uh, load per meter is how much 265.266 already we have calculated here and total length is how much 4 into 3.460 it means guys its length length of this beam is how much 3.460 okay this uh, beam length and length of this beam this beam is how much 6.2 okay now why we have multiplied it with 4 okay we have multiplied it with 4 because we have 4 beam okay 1 beam 2 beam 3 beam and 4 beam of same size again 6.2 this beam this beam this beam and this beam this 4 beam are have same dimension okay so we have multiply this uh, one length with 4 and another length with 4 okay so total uh, length will be this much and after calculating after multiplying with total load per meter we will get how much 10249.87 kg uh, of the beam okay guys so we have calculated the weight, weight or load of this uh, wall uh, after that we have calculated column and uh, we have calculated the beam now we are going to calculate the load due to this slab okay guys so let's move uh, toward the calculation for the slab okay so thickness of slab is given 125 mm this thickness is 125 mm length of this slab is 5.8 meter this length is how much 5.8 meter and width of slab is 3.8 meter okay so 3.8 meter now guys we will do same we have to calculate the volume of the slab okay so total volume of slab will be length into width into height okay so uh, it is in me mm so i have converted it into meter okay now put the value of length width and height we will get how much 2.755 meter cube so volume of this slab is how much 2.755 meter cube total so volume of steel in slab let it also be two percent of the concrete and in the similar way we will calculate the two percent of concrete will be how much uh, 0 0.055 meter cube okay so uh, density of concrete again we have to 2400 kg per cubic meter cubic meter and density of steel is 7800 kg per cubic meter okay now again we will calculate the load due to one slab okay so we are calculating only the load due to only one slab uh, upper slab okay let so uh, de, uh formula will be density into volume okay so again we are using load due to concrete in this uh, slab 
and load due to steel used in this slab okay so due to concrete volumetric density due to steel volumetric density okay and after calculating after putting all this value we will get how much 7089.78 kg guys uh, this is weight uh, this is load due to one slab only okay so there are two total two slab this one slab and total this uh, two slab okay so s1 plus s2 will be uh, same uh, and after calculating putting all this value we will get how much 14179.56 kg due to uh, this slab okay so guys total load due to two slab will be how much 14179.56 56 kg now let us see the total load due to all the component on the footing okay so uh, total load on the building will be load due to eight column okay this eight column okay and after that two slab this uh, two slab three wall this red three wall uh, and eight beam okay this gray color eight beam okay so we have previously we have calculated uh, the load uh, of eight column is this much two slab is this much three wall is this much eight beam is this much okay so adding all the values we will get how much for uh, 47748.07 kg okay if we convert it into newton we will get how much four lakh seventy seven thousand four hundred eighty point seven newton okay and if we again convert it into kilonewton, then we will get how much 477.48 kilonewton. But guys, we have four footing. Okay, uh, we have one, two, three, four footing. Okay, so this load will be distributed on all the full four footing. Okay, so we have four footing. The load on the single footing will be for 477.48 divided by four and we will get how much 199.37 kilo newton on the each footing guys okay if we had a uh, six footing then we have to uh, divide it by six and we will get the result of the load on the single footing okay now guys one of the most important things we have to add some live load on the uh, slab okay uh, while designing real building we have to add live load on the slab okay so uh, we can use 2 kN per meter square on the slab we can use live load as a 3 kN uh, as a live load per meter square okay so don't forget to uh, add live load on the slab I have not mentioned here but uh, if you are a civil engineer then we have to add the live load on the slab because uh, people are moving on the slab or decks bench etc are move from here to here uh, on the slab so we have to add live load on the slab okay this is just for example that how will we will calculate the total lo load on the footing okay and you will get all the idea that how the load on the footing are calculated and uh, according to this uh, we will design the footing okay so guys while designing footing we should take safety factor always okay if you are a civil engineer then uh, only economical factor is not important okay so we have to uh, also take the safety factor okay so according to is code 456 2000 we can take 1.5 as a factor of safety okay hence uh, load on each footing will be uh, one uh, 199.37 into 1 1.5 as a safety factor okay so calculating we will get how much 179.05 kilo newton load on each footing guys okay so guys in this way we can calculate the load on the uh, footing of the building uh, due to all the component due to all the uh, part of the uh, building like column beam and slab okay so this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you